Hello, this is Victor at HistoriaMercedes.com. This video is, is for Conrado in California. Oh, um, I have good news and bad news, man. Uh, good news is that the throttle body that you sent me, two units, the one, uh, the control module and throttle body, they do both work. That's good news. And um, the coil is good in this throttle body. As you can see, it is energized at the moment. Just want to show you a couple of some readings and stuff. So I cleaned it up, and it's actually a pretty nice unit. It is an updated version, a 1999 made. So uh, the unit has good cables in it. As you can see, wires are nice. So this is really good news. Here is your control module soldered to my bench right now. I just gave it some power just to activate the throttle. So the combination of two units, just to make sure that they both work in tandem with each other, okay? Now, not so good news is that the secondary throttle body that you have here, this one is not the right one for your car. This is the ASR module. Uh, this is ASR model. This is traction control unit. This one is not tra traction control unit. As you can see, the part number over here is 5725. This one works with this module, TLLR module, okay? This one, 4925, this is an ASR, mod ASR model, and it works with this module. As you can see, it says E-Gas. This is different, okay? TLLR is a cruise control, idle speed control. E-Gas is electronic gas actuator, and that's also cruise control and ASR, traction control. It's actually like a throttle, throttle control module, it's traction control, there's a separate one for the ABS. Well, anyway, so you get the idea. These are two not interchangeable units, it's totally different stuff. So, this one and this one work together. This one, um, it still works, as you can see, it's still hooked up. I just hooked it up, although the wires inside are falling apart already. As you can see, you got insulation cracking and whatnot. So this is not something that is going to last long. Now I cracked the lens on my camera here, so I don't know if... Okay, here we go. Okay, good. It's not focusing well. As you can see, you start seeing bare insulation already. Come on now. Laser focus. Yeah, right. Super laser. There it goes. So yeah, so you get the idea. I'm not touching it much because the more you touch it, more insulation flakes off and more issues you're going to get. But again, the good news is that it still works, but the good news is that what you need is um, the combination what you need is, is in working condition. Um, not so good news, I guess, is that if you still have issues, then you have a problem somewhere in the car. And that's what you have to find. And unfortunately, you know, I'm in New York, you're in California, so we cannot, you know, I can't get your car in unless you want to ship it. But <laughs> I have a car shipped from California uh, right now. I'm working on it, but that's different. That's like very electrical. There's a lot of things there. So, but um, this one right here, you might have some electrical issue as well. Now, let's go back to readings. Let's take a look here because I want to try to have this comprehensive sort of diagnostics here first we'll look at the fault memory that is that is stored in your module so we have control module itself you got another you know two codes for control module idle speed recognition switch it's inside the throttle i don't know why it came up but and then fuel uh, safety fuel shut off switch signal for hfm and three four so what that means is that this module uh, did not send this, the voltage to the uh, to the um, to the um, HFM module, which is engine management. So that's not good. Uh, let's see if what we have. I mean, there is there is. I, I have a feeling that you do have some power issues. I'm not going to clear them right now, but let's take a look at actual values. I want to see that safety fuel shut off voltage here. It's going to be around seven. Okay, here yeah, that's good. Nine, yeah, that's nice. This is, I think, supposed to be from like seven to eleven. I believe that's where it's supposed to be. So module is sending out voltage, so that's good. So let's open it up. You might change a little bit the voltage, but 
you see it's yeah no it works so I'm just opening the throttle right now because sometimes when you open it this the voltage just goes up and down a little bit but I believe from 7 to 11 is the value I'm not sure 9 is good that's perfect I mean that's just this is, this is fine so it is connected to my diagnostic right here as you look now let's take a look at other readings since I have it on the bench now potentiometers let's take a look here what we have is we have pre-equal readings that's okay sometimes they can fluctuate just a little bit just like right now 439 437 so when you open the throttle first potentiometer activates R1 good okay so we have readings that works just fine for me to show you second potentiometer I have to get it I just try to do that I'm gonna have to remove this drive gear I still have to clean this up because this gear is stuck on it a little bit so now see the motor tries to get it tries to get plate into the 4.39 4.37 position but because we have no gear there's no activation but I can activate it with my hand see I can there if I bring this potentiometer to about the value where we need to be the motor stops once it's off see motor tries to adjust so we have a very fine adjustment here working all right let's take a look at secondary potentiometer to do that I'm gonna move this plate you're gonna look at the reading above it's probably gonna go into limp mode yes it just did it just shut off this is spring loaded so it's not very fortunate but I just want to still do it with my finger here there so if you see secondary potentiometer value also changes so if I move this because clutch is still active yes clutch is still running so that's good that's what I can do um, that's how I can change the readout I can take a look at readout at least so as you can see we have changing values okay so I don't have problem here I don't have an issue here as you can see this works just fine okay this is the first potentiometer it's separate from the second potentiometer so we're good I mean this is a working unit I don't I don't have a problem with it now it's in limp mode of course because oh the secondary micro switch safety contact switch here there that works um, for some reason computers don't don't read out this micro switch I don't know why I guess it's when the engine runs then it picks it up but it is clicking it is working you can hear it okay you can actually see it with multimeter maybe I can show you that um, I'll check it but there is if you look at other videos that I have about non ASR units you will see that they don't change the value don't change so it's not not a concern it's they, they work fine um, where else we got there so this is basically all right now let's see if we have voltage still going yeah the voltage is still going let's see if we can do something drastic here try to unplug this thing you see once I unplug the throttle voltage drop so the car is not only in limp mode in terms of the throttle activate throttle activation but it is also in limp mode with fuel safety shut off where it shuts down fuel supply because the voltage you plug it back in here we got the voltage so I just plugged it and unplugged it so that code for fuel safety shut off it's a nasty code but um, it's um, now none of this stuff is connected and transmission failed because we don't have other computers connected so 
I don't have problems with this combination right here. So I'm fine with that. If we reset the ignition now, reset the voltage, we'll get our activation again. There. Computer will reset because I just killed the power. But as you can see, back in business. I had it on the bench for two days, just energized, just to check on the coil. It works fine. I'm gonna leave this computer on the bench as well for an extra day. Just let it, let it work. It's not gonna hurt. And basically that would be all. I mean, these two are good. That one, it's a wrong unit, plus wires falling apart. So that's, you don't need it. I mean, it's not gonna work in your car. But um, right now, the power is back on. And as you can see, the secondary switch does not activate because it actually has to move the whole gearing over here just to get the secondary switch to change. But that's fine. I mean, everything is fine. To me, this is all good. So, yeah, I guess I'll cut it quits. It was a long video, but um, you might have some issues to the, to the, with the power supply to the, to the module here. So you have to figure that out on a vehicle if you still have issues. Okay, so... This is going to be all. This is Victor at RestoreMercedes.com. Thank you for watching.